Um, great welcome, and, uh, and, and please enjoy your day. Thanks very much for coming. Grand design is now open. This is it, the recycled residence. It started off life as part of the University of East London. That's it, that little bit in the corner. Now this building is made up of lots of portable buildings stacked one on top of the other. It was taken down and the refurb guys got to work turning each section into a funky new home. Today I got a guided tour from a man who knows his stuff. Good. So here we are in the kitchen of a 75 grand kind of potty home. What do you reckon? I like it very much. Do you know you know you know what this building used to be? It used to be a, it used to be a university building. Yeah, it's amazing. And, and it's, a, it's a modular building which was built originally, I guess, in the 70s, modular building. And then they take it down, and then this company, they store it in warehouses, and then rebuild it as new. And it used to be the lecture rooms apparently. Yeah, it's, the kitchen itself is like a triangle. Joe, can you come down and look at the living room here? Well, it's not a bad old size, is it, really? It's all right. I really like the, the walled crank. Do you like the angle? Yeah, I do. Double room. Ensuite. Small but compact and very nice and ensuite bathroom with a bath at a jaunty angle and yeah, a, another jaunty angle and another door. Yeah, actually that's quite good. It's that, a Jack and Jill bathroom, so you can access it from the bedroom and from outside. Is that what's which is called a Jack and Jill? It's bathroom? called a Jack and Jill. Oh, you learn something every day. Thousands packed into the NEC for home design ideas. <laughs> it's lovely. My house doesn't look anything like this. My house is um, a 500-year-old stone farmhouse, long stone farmhouse, L-shaped, in fact. For someone who spends her life talking about contemporary design and engineering and new solutions and technologies, uh, I live in a really, really... <laughs> I live in the equivalent of a mud hut, yeah. <laughs> 